Hey YouTube, it's ICU here, and I am back. Sorry guys, but I've been really sick. In fact, I stayed home sick yesterday from school, and I am staying home sick from school today as well, and I called in sick to work. So you guys should be thankful I'm even making this video. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak your iDevice running on 4.1. And this also works on 4.2 beta 1 if you redirect it at the 4.1 firmware. But I'm not going to get into depth on that because it's not supported and a lot of things are broken. And you just really shouldn't mess around with that. So because it is red snow and because the compatibility lists for iOS devices are always changing, uh, please check the more info down below to see if your iDevice is supported. So I'm just going to show you guys that I am indeed on firmware 3.1.3 and that I'm going to go to firmware 4.1. So I'm going to go into settings, then I'm going to go to general, about, and as you can see where it says version, I am indeed on 3.1.3 and I'm going to be upgrading to 4.1. So now that I've got that out of the way, what you're going to do is plug in your iDevice. Mine's already plugged in. Make sure you have the latest version of iTunes downloaded and then open it up and you're going to have to download the firmware you want. So mine's already downloaded. I'll put a link in the more info to download it. I'm sure you guys can figure it out. You just select which one you want from a drop down bar and it's best to actually download it that way than to download it through iTunes because you're going to need to direct Red Snow at it later on and all you're going to have to do is hold down shift and then click restore if you're on a PC or control shift restore if you are on a Mac. I'm just going to shift click restore and I'm going to browse for my firmware. So now it's asking if I'm sure I want to restore, and yes, I'm sure I want to restore. Also, make sure you back it up beforehand if you want to keep all your stuff, and I'm just going to be back when my iPhone is on 4.1. So my iPhone just finished restoring. Once you guys have finished restoring your iOS device, what you're going to do is you're just going to scroll down, and you're going to go to the download link. It should be just the first post they have. If it isn't, then you can just go back and find it if it's not the first post if you're watching this at a later date. And it's just, like I said, under where it says download links, just click on it and click download. Right now, it's the first day it was released, so it only supports Mac right now. Uh, and that's why I actually switched, so I can jailbreak it. So once you have it downloaded, you can put your firmware on your desktop so you can better find it. And what you're going to do is open up Red Snow. Then once you have Red Snow open, you're just going to browse for the firmware. And like I said, you can just put it on the desktop and then wait for it to process. And then once it says IPSW successfully identified, you can click Next. And then you guys can just check what you want. Verbose boot basically just means that it goes through like all the processes it would go through normally, except it actually lists them in white when you're booting up. It's kind of cool. I don't really like it. You can do custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, I don't like either one of those. Enable multitasking, which I really want. Enable home screen wallpaper, which I also really want. And enable battery percentage, which I also really want. And you obviously should click install city if you want to be jailbroken. And then just click next. And then, like it says, make sure that your device is both powered off and plugged in before continuing and then next and then you should just follow the instructions but I already set mine into DFU mode prior to that to make sure that my virtual machine connected to it basically what you would have to do to set it into DFU mode is just hold down the home and power button for 10 seconds and that's all you have to do and then let go of the power button continue holding the home button for 10 seconds and boom you're in DFU mode you'll know because it'll prompt you about like drivers or something being updated or iTunes will open or something to that extent and if you have your speakers on you'll know because it'll make the connecting noise so now it's just going through the process of jailbreaking and I'll be back when it has finished jailbreaking 100 percent so now it's finished jailbreaking and I took the liberty of going into Cydia updating everything and downloading VNC so I can actually show you guys what's up here so I do have an iPhone 3G as most of you already know and Apple disabled background wallpapers along with multitasking for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch second generation but because I jailbroke it and enabled those features inside of Red Snow I'm able to do both of those things as you can see I have a background wallpaper now and when I double tap the home button multitasking pops up and then to just exit out of things you guys know what you do you just tap and hold and you can do all that jazz 
And I'm also going to show you guys that I can create a folder here just by dragging and dropping an app over another app. And one thing I wanted to mention to you guys really quick too before showing you Cydia is how to get the battery percentage up there if you enable that option. What you want to do is you want to go into general once you've gone into settings and then go into usage and then you have to actually switch battery percentage on. And now I'm just going to scroll over and go to Cydia and let it load up. And here is City. I can do everything. I can browse the home screen, go to sections, uh, changes, manage stuff like sources, different packages, and also search things. Except the only thing is to get changes, what you have to do is you have to go to manage, and then you have to go to sources, edit, add, and you have to add a new source, and then just reboot your device, and you'll have all the changes in there forgot to mention that and this next thing is probably the most important thing I've said throughout this whole video if you rely on a carrier unlock for your iPhone and you plan on jailbreaking using Red Snow please wait until either Ponage Tool or Snow Breeze is released and you can use one of those I repeat do not use Red Snow if you rely on a carrier unlock so hope you guys like this video please subscribe if you haven't already this is ICU signing out